what's going on everyone garnet walters here and i hope you're having a great day and i hope the new year is treating you well um i'm going to do a quick video on a question that i get asked pretty frequently but before i get into that um if you haven't pressed the subscribe button please press the subscribe button and also press on the bell so you know when a new video comes out um if you have subscribed um thank you for your support i really appreciate it um it really means a lot so um let's get into the video so the question that I get asked pretty frequently is, uh, how do I create my uh, patches with the, the pads and the strings and stuff? So um, I'm just gonna do a quick breakdown for you. So right now I'm using main stage, um, I'm using main stage three, and the patch that I use first is I always put down a piano first, and in um, in this tutorial I'm using main stage. So. <laughs> grand piano from main stage now you don't have to you know use main stage if you don't have it you can use any piano and that's fine I personally like uh, keyscape um, the next patch that I add is a rose I have it on this fader here <laughs> Is from main stage as well. The next pad that I use uh, is a pad from um, main stage or Logic, and it's in the legacy folder, and it's called Blue Carpet. And I like using Blue Carpet because um, it has a nice warm sound, and it doesn't get in the way of anything. It's a good foundation to work with. <laughs> I also like using blue carpet because when I'm playing a chord and going to the next chord, it doesn't bleed over. It just goes straight into the next chord. So I like that about um, blue carpet. And the final patch that I use is also in the legacy folder in main stage and it's called warm strings. So the key to getting all this stuff to come together the way you want it is by this one principle that I, I explained in the auxiliary video, which is some sounds are meant to be heard and some sounds are meant to be felt. So I like to have the piano out front. the roads underneath it give it a little more body you hear the difference hear the growl from the piano and but you can hear the nice warm sound from the road so the next thing that I add is the pads 
and I put the pad up in such a way where you'll know that it's there, but it won't get in the way. So this is what it'll sound like. So you hear the pad in there, and again, it's not out in the forefront, but you can feel its presence. And then finally, I'll add the strings, and I'll fade it in. So again, I have all of these sounds working together. The piano's out in the front, the roach is slightly underneath that, then I have the pad and the strings that help support those other sounds, and it doesn't get in the way. Um, one thing that I'm very cautious of is doing runs. So when I'm doing runs, I make sure that the piano and the roads are again out there in the forefront so everything will sound clear because have the, the pad and the strings out there in the open like loud like that like it sounds clean and stuff but sometimes the pad and the strings can kind of make things a little muddy um, one thing that can help you to get through that is to make sure that you're not pressing on the pedal when you're doing those runs. And when you press the pedal, it sounds very, very muddy. Even though the piano and the rose are kind of cutting through, it's still not as clear as it should be. So, not using the pedal. So not using the pedal will, will help to erase all of that, but making sure that the, the pad and the strings aren't in the way, that definitely will help in making things sound clear. Now sometimes I'll mix and match, sometimes I'll have the rows out in the open in the forefront and make that the feature. And then I'll put the uh, pad underneath there. sound kind of like that I'll, I'll tend to hold the chords down a little more and make sure that whenever I'm playing the chords the top note is sticking out so it's kind of like I, I have a uh, uh, the approach of an orchestra I'll still have the approach of an orchestra, meaning I'm going to pad a lot more.
So yeah, that's how I approach creating these pads. Um, again, I make sure that some sounds are meant to be heard, some sounds are meant to be felt. I'm really careful with how I do runs, and when I do them, I make sure I'm not pressing on the sustain pedal so they can be clear. Also make sure, again, that whatever sound I want featured, I have that out in the forefront, and everything else falls in line with that and make sure it supports that sound. So I hope this video helped. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you want to share what, what patches you can create in main stage, please feel free to, to write something in the comments. Again, I hope this is really helpful. And um, thank you for your support and thank you for watching. Have a good one.